Hello. In this video, we'll be going over how to configure the display as a static IP address and then connect to it. So by default, when you first receive a display from our factory, if you make no changes, the, uh, the default setting is that the display will get an IP address through a DHCP connection. So I will talk more about a DHCP connection in the video that talks about how to connect to a display with a DHCP address. Um, but for this video, we'll talk about switching the display so it will not acquire it through a DHCP server, but instead it will always be the same IP address. So that is called a, a static IP address. Um, so what we will be doing is we will be making the IP address um, static and then connecting to it through PuTTY. So as you can see here, we're going to start on the support site and we're going to use some tools that we have made available in our knowledge base to help us do this quickly. So from our support site, we're going to go down to the knowledge base here and come into operating systems down at the bottom and look at this article about IP address configuration. So this article goes over how to change the IP address and if you can already log into the display uh, with the DHCP address, you can follow the instructions to do this manually. Um, for this video, we're going to make this a little easier, though, and use this script here. So this is the auto set IP address configuration. We're going to just go ahead and download this. Uh, should finish very quickly. So here it is, and we're going to extract this ccauto.sh here. Um, OK, so if we open this up, uh, I use a text editor called Sublime Text. If you don't have a good text editor, then I would recommend going to get Sublime Text or Notepad++. Notepad++. Uh, these will be very helpful when we're working with scripts and other things um, within the Windows environment. So um, here is how this script looks. Uh, just to note, if you try to open it with like Notepad or WordPad, it will not look correct. Um, so again, it will, you, I believe if you use WordPad, actually, it will insert Windows end of line characters, which will actively mess up the script. So again, if uh, you don't have a text editor like Notepad++ or Sublime Text, uh, there are many free options out there. Uh, go download one of them. Um, okay, so there's instructions in this script on what we need to do. So if you want to set it as a dynamic IP address, um, we can change this to be a zero. Um, so here, or zero for dynamic IP. But in our case, we want to set it to be static. So we're going to leave this as a one here. And then down here, this is the information of our static IP. So in this case, we're going to say the IP address of the display will be 192.168.0.100. Our net mask is this, and our gateway is this. So I would recommend just, unless you know what you're doing as far as changing the, the network, stats here, I would recommend you just keep them as they are set. So you don't need to change anything um, or even open this file. So and I'll go through this and show you how to set up your computer to connect to this specific address. Because um, the setup will be different if you change, change those settings there. So we're now going to go ahead and copy this ccauto.sh file to the root directory of a USB. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and copy it. I already have one in this USB, so it's just asking me if I want to replace it. I do. Um, okay, so it's you'll notice it's in my root directory. When I go to the USB, I'm not putting it in any other folders or um, anything else. It is just sitting in the main, the first directory I go to on the USB. This is important because if it's not in here, the display won't look for it in any other folders. The display will look for a file called ccauto.sh. If it sees it, it executes the script. If it doesn't see it, uh, it won't do anything. So once it's there, we're going to just eject the USB. And now we can put it in the display. So. And this video assumes that your display has a USB connection to it. Um, so you guys can't see my display, but I'm putting it in. What we're going to do is it will run and reboot the display. So once you insert the USB, you should have to wait approximately one to two seconds and your display should reboot. When it reboots, you should remove the USB or else it will run the script again and reboot again and just keep doing it until you remove the USB. So you should remove the USB um, and my display has already rebooted and I have the, the default settings screen up. So in that screen, I can see on the bottom right that my display now shows uh, the IP address 192.168.0.100, which we expected because that is what the script set it to. Um, so I can see that it's correctly set as a static IP. And I have the Ethernet connection hooked directly to my computer. So the display ethernet connection is hooked directly to my computer. Um, and now we are going to go into our uh, network configurators and make sure that our settings are correct. So I believe mine are already correct, but I'll show you my settings and that should um, give you an idea what you need to do. So here, you know, I went into control panel um, you can arrange it by category and then uh, network and internet and we're going to go into uh, view network yes yeah and then we're going to from this we're going to say change adapter settings and assuming the display is connected to an ethernet directly connected to your computer via ethernet we're going to look at what connection you have it. So for me, I have it connected to this local area connection and I'm going to hit properties. So in here, I'm going to scroll down to the IP internet protocol version four, uh, IPv4 and hit properties again. Now by default, most computers will be set to obtain IP address automatically. This means that your computer is also looking for a DHCP server to hand it an IP address. Um, when you're connecting to the displays directly with a static address, you also need to give your computer a static address for this connection. So you can still maintain, like for me, I'm connected wirelessly to uh, the internet via a wireless router and I can maintain that internet connection while still being connected to the display directly. Um, okay, so I'm going to give my computer the IP address 192.168.0.1. Okay, and when you click down here, it automatically assigns a subnet address uh, essentially based on the class of your IP address, um, you know, without getting too technical, you can pretty much keep it at this subnet address, assuming that you didn't change the, the settings in the script. 
itself. And then the default gateway, uh, it doesn't assign and you can just keep it at zero. So once that's done, we're gonna hit okay and close that, close out of that. And now we should be able to connect directly to the display. So we're gonna type in, so I'm using putty here. Uh, if you don't know what putty is or uh, what it can do, there's a video in the Windows tool section that talks about putty, but essentially it provides us a way to uh, connect through SSH to our displays. So you'll see SSH here is selected. Um, and now I'm gonna type in the IP address of the display. So that's 192.168.0.100. And hit enter and now it tells me that um, the RSA key is not recognized for this IP address and do I want to add it so the, the RSA key is just a security key um, and yes I will go ahead and add it and you can remove those later if there's a conflict uh, so I'm gonna the login root the password is SUS root and there we go, I am in the display. So we have successfully connected to the display uh, by giving it a static IP address and um, through, through the USB script and then changing our computer settings to be able to connect to that static IP. Um, so of course, if you wanted to set it back to a dynamic IP address, you can actually either use the same script, so looking at the script that we downloaded, um, I could change this to zero instead of one, and this will change it back to a dynamic IP address. So all I'd have to do then is put this script or save it back to a USB and put it back in. Um, or on this knowledge base article, there's another uh, script down here, which will replace the, um, the network's file with the original file. So in this case, if for some reason you've done something that you can't connect to the device, you've you know maybe tried to set it as a static IP, but you type something wrong and it's not connecting anymore at all. You're not able to connect to it. Um, you can use this IP address script to essentially attempt to replace the entire file to the, uh, to the original settings, which will be a DHCP type address. So, or type configuration. Um, okay, so I think that should do it. Um, There'll be a video on how to do this manually, but for this one, we've done it through USB. Thanks for watching.